It's no secret that one of the key reasons graphics card supplies are so low at the moment is because of cryptocurrency mining organizations. They're snapping up as many of them as they physically can. Yes, there are other factors at play here, and we've talked about them in quite some length in one of our previous videos, link in the description below. But overall, while crypto coins aren't perhaps the biggest problem for general gaming consumers hunting for an upgrade, it's still a notable one. Now, following the official launch of Nvidia's newly revised light hash rate or LHR 3000 series graphics cards though, is there light at the end of the tunnel or is it just an oncoming train? Let's do this. Are you a champion in the making? Yeah, I mean, my mum always calls me a little champ, so... Then you need the new Corsair Champion Series K70 10 keyless keyboard to heighten your gameplay and really kick the competition's ass. So I'll be an even better gamer if I get one? Yes, thanks to the 8000 Hz hyperpolling, a durable aluminium frame and a tournament mode switch that disables the macros and lighting for those intense gaming sessions. You'll be tearing up the battlefield in no time. Wow, I can't wait to show everyone my sick moves. Yeah! No, no, stop that. Stop that now and click the link in the description below. Seriously, stop dancing. <laughs> so last month, Nvidia confirmed that they were planning to revise their 3000 series graphics cards to feature better anti-mining technology. This did, of course, make its initial debut back in February with the 3060. But as you might remember, Nvidia themselves cocked it all up by releasing a beta driver that removed all of the mining limitations that were actually in place. Now, the irony, of course, was that Nvidia had been insistent prior to this that the anti-mining tech could not be bypassed by mere drivers. It supposedly, and remember, this is what Nvidia said, went all the way down to the BIOS. Yet, they themselves disproved this claim by releasing the exact drivers that removed it all in one easy installation. Whoops. So with their new LHR, light hash rate graphics cards, now officially confirmed, what has actually changed here? Well, in a nutshell, Nvidia has had to modify the chipset to ensure that the original drivers they released, unlocking the full mining potential, were completely unsuitable and incompatible with the newly revised designs. Overall, the main key factor is that in terms of hash rate production, these new cards should only be capable of roughly around half of the mining potential that was seen from the original non-LHR based cards. Now we are waiting for some official figures, but pretty much all of the leaked sources and even Nvidia now agree that that will be the case. Now it does seem like a lot of work though, doesn't it? I mean, the Nvidia 3000 series is hardly old and these revisions don't seem to be bringing, I don't know, anything new to the party in terms of better performance or faster memory. You've got to remember, these are exactly the same the mining performance has just been restricted by half. I mean, what's the big whoop? Well, there are a couple of factors which could potentially make this a big win for consumers looking for an upgrade. Firstly, given that these are simply revised models offering, I guess, no visual difference to the originals, we're gonna see huge kind of muddying of the waters here, and particularly so for cryptocurrency scalpers. I mean, let me try and explain this situation with a little bit of an analogy. So. Let's say I have two cars that look identical in every way, but one is capable of 100 miles an hour and the other is limited to 50 miles per hour. Would you buy one of them not knowing exactly which version you were getting? I mean, probably not. And that's the hope that Nvidia LHR gives us. They're basically, well, what they've done is they've created a graphics card mining field. I'll grab my coat. Secondly though, and for I guess more selfish reasons from Nvidia, there is the small matter of the CMP30HX. With this new graphics card being specifically designed for mining, with the key differences being that it has no display output, we dare say that Team Green's management is very keen for this to be the kind of go-to GPU for big scale operations to start grinding out sheer amounts of Ethereum until that goes tits up at the end of the year and forks off into Ethereum 2.0 of course. Now, having already seen leaks from both Galax and Gigabyte just last week of their own custom LHR designs, Nvidia themselves have now officially rubber stamped this. And, all going well, they should start hitting retail shelves before the end of this month. So with all this in mind, I suppose a key question consumers may have is, will these LHR cards make any sort of real tangible difference? Will we actually start to see more Nvidia GPUs become available to buy? Well, the short answer is, we don't know. The LHR revision is certainly a step in the right direction, but it isn't a total solution either. Particularly so as the chipset shortage is still placing pretty high demand on parts from masses of manufacturers of all different needs and requirements around the world. 
not just computers either, cars, all sorts. Now, the only mild curiosity is that Nvidia has not applied this revision to their 3090. Yep, it's on the 3060 all the way up to the 3080, but not the GPU at the top of the pile. Now, given how prohibitively expensive the 3090 is though, even when just looking at the fantasy that was the official MSRP, on the whole, this is probably a smart move, as gaming consumers are not really crying out for more 3090s. They want more of everything else. The 3090 is probably the least sought after card, with 3070s and 3080s being the main ones that people are craving for. One thing that I can see consumers getting fed up with is their own ability, or lack of, to mine. I know users personally who mine in their spare time to recoup some of the costs that they've actually had to pay over and above MSRP pricing, especially with everything that's going on. Now, if these LHR cards come out at the same price, you don't have the ability to do that. But if the price comes back down to the correct levels, as in, let's say, closer to MSRP, then maybe this isn't such a deal breaker. And that's, well, if they're stock in the first place anyway. Talking of stock, while we don't know if graphics card stock levels will improve over the coming months with the LHR revisions, all we can say for sure though is that it surely really can't hurt things, can it? Albeit AMD getting on board with something similar would certainly help. Though at the moment, they don't really seem you know, particularly interested in creating any of their own anti-mining revisions. Then again, when you look at AMD, they don't have a mining specific alternative ready on offer like Nvidia does. But I can tell you what is ready to go though, and that is the eTechnics PC Maintenance Toolkit, available on store.etechnics.com with absolutely everything you need to build, maintain, and repair your PC, including the right tools for Custom Loop 2. To get yours, click the link in the description below. And with that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know exactly what to do, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.